I'm Angelica Navarro and the purpose of this video is going to be the purpose of cave paintings. Um, when were the cave paintings estimated to be created? It was about 40,000 to 14,000 years ago. Um, and that's how far back the art samples date back to. The most common cave art that you'll find are symbols, animals, or humans. And it'll either be a painting, an engraving in the walls, or a sculpture. The first painting in the cave was from the Stone Age in Altamira, Spain. The Stone Age was about 2.6 million years ago and it ended in about 3300 BC. In this cave in Spain, the artwork was done by Homo sapiens, so humans. And most cave art known to exist has been found in Spain and France and then a few other caves have been found across Europe, Russia, and Indonesia. There's about 350 to 400 known cave sites with cave art in them around the world. Most cave art paintings are in the color of red and black pigments and they are made from rocks and charcoal. All the other colors of rocks like browns, the reds, sometimes you'll get the purples. And the few sculptures that they found in the caves were made from clay. The painting in most caves represent the prehistoric animals of the time of the Paleolithic age. Most of these animals that were represented then are now extinct, like the cave lions, the woolly rhinoceros, the mammoths, the and the cave bears. Um, and then later on in the cave painting era, I guess you could call it, came the urex, which is a type of horse, actual horses, cervids, and ibex, and they came, became more prevalent in the paintings. Many people wonder what the purpose of drawing and painting in the caves were back then, but not no one can confirm it because these people aren't existent anymore. Um, and I think it's amazing because this was our first form of graphic communication. There was no languages or dialects for these people to even comprehend like there is today, like our complex English, Spanish, French, all of those. Um, and so based on the, all of the pictures that I've seen, I would say that one of the purposes of cave paintings um, was for record keeping. And when these people, these Paleolithic era people, their brains, I don't know if they could comprehend numbers at the time, but I think they could keep track of what they've caught, what it looks like of what they caught, what they've eaten, things that they shouldn't eat because something's happened to someone else, you know, like live by experience back then. Um, and then an animal could have been drawn on a cave somewhere to show them and to warn other people like, hey, we saw this animal in this section. If this animal is going to kill you, we don't want to walk over there. We're going to travel a different way because these people lived as nomads. This also could have been used as a type of um, warning to themselves. So if they're traveling and they come back to this same cave, they're like, oh, we shouldn't live in this cave because that thing almost killed us. Um, my second main reason for cave paintings that I believe um, that they were created were to tell a story. Um, history is all about telling stories. Ever since the beginning of time, we have these stories that tell us how people were creative, created and we learn from these stories. And they couldn't talk or speak or communicate in like a proper form like we do today, but they could show each other in action pictures. Cause if you look at a, like a stick figure, you're gonna know that's a human. If you make the arms move in the picture, you're gonna know that the human's walking. So these people at the time, they used the, the creases in the walls to show movement with the animal's shoulder blades, with the animal's legs, and they showed a pattern of the animals in order to show action over time. In doing all of this, they created the first graphic communication means for their people and for humankind today. It's not as complex as modern day, but that was the basis of human development. 